Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Salesforce FAQs and today in this video I'm going to tell you about one of the most important feature in Salesforce that is creating multiple users at a time. So in Salesforce there are many incidents when you need to create multiple users that all at once but manually creating those users will take a lot of time. So in this video I'm going to tell you two most easiest way to create multiple users in Salesforce. So first let me show you the two ways that we are going to discuss in this video. So the first we are going to create multiple users from the user setup and in this option we will create multiple users from the user setup UI in which we will see the multiple fields and there we have to enter the required fields to create the users and the next option is creating multiple users using the Salesforce data loader tool. So the data loader is a third party application that, that you need to install in your system and uh, if you haven't and if you have, haven't installed the data loader in your system then I will also give a video link in the description from where you can see how you can download the data loader in your system. So let's move ahead and see the process. So right now I logged into my Salesforce developer org and as of now I am on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning and from here we will navigate to the user setup. So for that go to the quick find box and here search and select users. So to create a new user there are two options that either you can select a new user and the next option is add multiple users. So when you select the option new user you will see the fields to enter the details to create a single user account and when we select the option add multiple users you will see the fields to create records for the multiple user. For example when you are creating multiple user you have to first select the user license. So make sure the user license that you are going to select is having enough license remaining to create or add the new users. So here you have to enter the first name, last name, email, username, profile and the role. So let's fill all the required fields to create the users. And in the profile you have to select the user profile that you want to assign to this new user. So the profiles that you are going to see in this drop down are the profiles that are assigned to the user license that you have selected. So according to this I will select the user profile and also the role for the user. And in the same way you have to enter all the fields for the multiple users. So as you can see I have entered all the details of all the 10 users in this window. And when you select this option to create multiple users then you have to fill details of all the 10 users. And in case you want to add more users then you can click on the button add more users and also you can uh, generate passwords and notify the users with the help of email and for that you have to activate the checkbox generate password and notify user via email and after entering all the details you have to simply click on the save button so here we are having one duplicate record so i will try to change it and again i will click on the save button so as we click on the save button the new users will be created and i will try that if i can show you the new users that i have created right now so the users i have created are for the profile of identity user so I will show you the user from the profile in which I have created the user. So the profile name was identity user. So here we will click on the view users button. And here you will see all the users that we have added right now using the UI of user setup. So this is how you can create multiple users in Salesforce using the user setup. And now we will see the process of adding multiple users in Salesforce using the Salesforce data loader tool. So to insert the records using the Salesforce data loader tool, you need to prepare a CSV file. So I have already prepared one CSV file. So this is a CSV file through which we are going to insert multiple users in Salesforce. So these are the required fields that you need to insert the user records. So these fields are first name, last name, alias, username, email, role ID, profile ID, profile ID, local, local ID key, language local and email encoding key and also the time zone key and the currency ISO code. So these are the all details that we need to insert the user using the Salesforce data loader tool. So here I will enter the usernames and the username and the email name are going to be same. So the next important thing is the role ID and the profile ID. So how you can get the role ID and profile ID. So for that you have to go to the Salesforce developer console. And to get the user role ID you have to execute this query that is select ID name from user role. And to get the profile ID you have to run this query select ID name from profile and name equals to the profile name. 
So this is how you can execute the query and get the ID of the profile and the user role. And I will also mention this query in the description from where you can access it. And if you don't know how to navigate to the Salesforce developer console, so let me show you that also. So to navigate on the developer console, you have to click on the gear icon and here select developer console. And uh, you have to click on the query editor to execute the queries. And in the query editor, here you have to enter the query and click on the execute button. Then you will see the display results over here. So this is how you can get the user role ID and the profile ID. Now we'll go back to the CSV file. And in this example, I'm going to add only three users and the process will be same to add the multiple users. And data loader is very efficient in handling the bulk data records. So I'm going to create this user with the same role and the same profile. So I will copy the same role and the same profile ID for all the three users. And rest of the fields like uh, local site key, local language key and encoding key, time zone, site key and the currency ISO code is going to be same for most of the users. You can check the settings in your org according to which you can define these values. So as of now, I have created the CSV file through which we are going to insert the multiple users and make sure that you save this file in the CSV version and uh, after saving the file go back to the data loader so as of now i opened the data loader tool and to insert the users i will click on the insert button and in this step i will log in with my credentials now in this step we have to select the object so we are going to create multiple users so i have selected the user object and then we will browse the csv file that we have created right now so this is the csv file and after selecting the object name and the csv file we will click on the next button and as we click on the next button the data loader will initialize the csv file and, dis and display the number of rows and here you have to click on the ok button to proceed and here click next so in this step we have to do the mapping of the csv header column to the object field names so for that click on the button create or edit a map and as we click on it you will see a mapping dialog window so here you have to click on the button auto match field to the columns and as we click on it the csv header column will be automated to the object field names and in case any of the field is not automated then you have to drag and drop the field down to the column mapping for example this user or id is not auto mapped so i will drag it over here and then click ok and after this click next and at last click on the finish button and as we click on the finish button you will see a warning message over here so here click yes to proceed so as you can see that we have successfully run the data operation and we have three successful inserts so here we will click on the button view success and you can see it is showing that item created so this is how you can create multiple users in salesforce using the salesforce data loader tool so this was all about creating multiple users in salesforce and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye